Okay, example 1.7, adding vector with components. Three players in a reality TV show are brought, brought to center of the large field, flat field. Each is given a meter stick, a compass, a calculator, a shovel, and a different, um, in a different order for each con contestant. Okay. The following three displacements. Okay, you have the displacements. The three displacements lead to a point where the key is to a new Porsche are buried. Two players start measuring immediately, but the winner first calculates where to go. What does she calculate? Okay, so tatlo at naglakad sila. Okay. Now, let's plot. Okay, kung anong nangyari. I think dito muna. Yan. So, at the middle of the field, let's say here. Okay. The starting point is here. Let's follow this one. 72 meters, let's say that is 7.2 uh, cm. Okay. And this is north and this is east. So, east of north, so that is north, east, so it's this one. Okay. So, it's 32. Here. Okay. So, that's the line. Then, it's 7.24. So, of course, we cannot make it 7.24, but we can make it 7.2 here. So, that one. Okay. So, the first contestant. Okay. From the start, he travels right here. Okay. There. Then, the next... Con uh, no, no. Uh, this is the first contestant. Let's just do the first. Then, after this one... The 72.4, okay, he traveled again with this displacement, 53, that is 36 degrees south of west. So, hindi na dito, it's not here anymore, it's here, south of west, west is this one, okay, south, it's going down, okay, so it goes down, it's 36 uh, by the way, this is, should be uh, 32, and the other one, it's, uh, what's it again, 36, 36, it's here, okay, so 36, okay, and that is 57, Point three. So let's measure fifty seven. Again, this is not accurate, very accurate. So it's fifty seven should be here. Okay. So for the next contestant, uh, no, no, for the next displacement, it traveled that way. Okay, like that, and this is 36 degrees, I hope you can read it, okay, and then 18, straight south, so straight south meaning it's vertical, going down, okay, it's 17.8, so 1.7, uh, 1.8, so, 1.8 is 1, something like here. Okay. There. Okay. Then, uh, we're going to find, oh, so this is the location of the key. So, we travel from here, goes there goes down and down 
Now, the other contestant measured it, measured the resultant. Okay? Measured the resultant in the sense that the resultant is starting is here and then it goes there. So, that's the resultant. So, he's the winner. But, of course, it's P6. So, you could argue that uh, it's better to do it this way than computation. But, we are in P6. But if this is in hundreds of miles, so it's better to do it this way. Okay? So, now the question is, what does she calculate? So, it means, what is this resultant R? Okay? Now, uh, we already have the discussion for components. So, what we need is uh, to make a component or to compute for the component of this vector this vector and this vector so to have it's better to have a summary in terms of table okay let's call this vector a vector b and vector c and you have the resultant okay now uh, okay we'll do it this way so you have the distance Okay. So distance. And the distance you have vector A, vector B, and vector C. The angle. Angle. For the angle, so this is let's make it based on this zero degrees okay based on zero degrees okay, i hope you understand then what is this angle so that is so to be sure 90 minus 32 32 degrees that is 58 so my angle from here for a it's 58 okay for b so again from here it goes to there. So our reference is always to this uh, x axis, positive x axis. So I have 36, 180 plus 36. So 180, this is 180 plus 36. Okay, so you have 216. 216. Then C, oops, what is C? So again, from here, it goes there. So that is. Uh, 90, 90, 180 plus 90, it's 270. Okay? In this case, you don't need to uh, determine if it's going down or going up or left to the right. All you need to do is to base your uh, degrees in zero. Okay? Now, and also, what is amazing is uh, for X component, Okay, component, x component, okay, it's cosine, always cosine, okay, uh, the distance, I forgot, it's 72.4, and this one is 57.3, and this one is 17.8, all you need to do is, so you have 72.4 cosine 58. Actually, that is the Sokatoa. So, this is the hypotenuse and you can find for the adjacent side. Then, you have 57.3 cosine 216. Then, you have 17.8 uh, cosine 270. The result, okay, include the negative sign. The result, you have... Okay, 38.3662, then you have negative 40, oops, magpas na, negative 46.3567, I hope you can still read. Then you have this one, hulaan nyo, X component, try natin, okay. So, 17.8 cosine 270, 0 of course. Why 0? Kita kita naman sa... Uh, figure so this is zero now 
if you add this one, okay, if you add that one, the result is negative 7.9905. Okay, and what's that? That is this one. That is x component, that is this one. That's 8 here. Okay, that's this one. I hope you can read. You can see that is what we call Rx. Rx. Now take note that is negative going to the left. Okay, so as easy as that using the component method. Now let's digest. For a, this is a. The component of a is this one. X component. Okay, that is uh, thirty-eight. If you can measure, that is 38. Okay? And for B, ito naman siya. There. Okay? So, if you notice, this much minus this much, okay, you have this. And this length is Rx. And that is the component of resultant. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? That's why I have Rx. Now, for the uh, for the y component, same then, kaya lang sine. So you have seventy two point four sine fifty eight. Then you have fifty seven point three sine two one six. Then you have seventeen point eight cosine. 270. And this one, you have now 61.3987 and uh, negative 33.68. Then you have negative 17.8. Okay, 17.8. Now, let's see in the diagram. This is y component, meaning the y component of A, that is this one. Okay. Yon. That is AY. It's positive, right? It's positive. If you measure it, it's 61. Then what's the uh, Y component of B? This one is BY. Negative. Mamay mo doon. 33. Then, you go down again by 17.8. Anong natira? This one. And this one, it's the Ry. If you have Ry and Rx, that is the component of the resultant, you can get the resultant. Okay? So, it turns out that this Y, it's 9.9187. So, this is Ry. Okay? Now, uh, let me illustrate again. Uh, now, uh, the... Resultant. To complete the resultant, you have the R, Y, and R, X. To compute for the magnitude, you will just need the Pythagorean theorem. That is R, X squared plus R, Y squared. Okay? So, ganun mo. Kasi may negative. So, that is square root of 9.9187 squared Plus, if you want, negative 7.9905 squared. It turns out that R is equivalent to 12.7369. Okay? And, if you want to get the theta, this one theta, or the beta, okay? If you want that one, uh, saglit, beta ba or beta? Anyway, uh, to know this one, the beta, so you have tangent, beta, beta opposite is the Rx, Rx over Ry, okay? So the beta, so you have Rx, what is Rx? It's uh, 7.9905 over 9.9187. So, you have a beta that is 
38.85 degrees. Okay. So, let's see kung tama, baka mali. So, inverse tangent, 7.9905 over 9.9187. Okay. So, that is 38.85. So, the distance is 38. This one is 38.85. Okay. So, mas madali na lang maglakad ka na lang kasi kaysa mag-compute-compute. Anyway, that's not the point. Okay? The point is you can uh, easily identify the resultant by using the component of the component of the uh, vectors. Okay? See you next video.